All right, we're going to keep it rolling. <laughs> Uh, I apologize for not making as many videos as I really probably should be. Uh, so if I know it's been a, a week or so since I've knocked out another a couple of videos, but I'm at the terminal right now. Today is uh, April 14th, 2016. I think my last video was, God, I think it was before, uh, I think it was the beginning of April or something like that, so. Sorry guys, uh, just came off of a week of home time and uh, getting in the groove of things and um, yeah, so this video I, I really want to somewhat make a, <clears throat> again I try to keep my videos as positive as I can and, and things like that, but I want to make a video about uh, somewhat of a, mo a motivational video. Uh, which is going to be pretty much entitled uh, Sacrifices. Um, because people in general, in all walks of life, in all industries, they make sacrifices for the good of the cause. You know what I'm saying? Whether that be uh, your family or uh, uh, bills that you're trying to pay off or, or something like that. And, um, you know, I, I really have to, you know, commend the truck drivers, the military people, um, just tr sales agents, things like that, who are away from their family and, you know, taking care of taking care of what they need to to ensure that their family has a better quality of life. Uh, because that really just shows, you know, it, it shows what type of person you are. You know, I, I'm not, and I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I'm, I, I'm perfect or I, I'm by any means. I just, I, I know what needs to be done. I know what needs to be done at the end of the day. You know, I, I have a family to support and, um, my uh, again, my my wife homeschools my kid at home, our kid at home, and you know we we're a one income family. So uh, things were a little rough for us. Uh, I would say last year when I was looking for you know IT work and things like that, and a lot of it was due to the the area that I live in. It's not a very technical um, state. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it, it, it's, you know, it was difficult finding IT work. Uh, bills got, you know, kept getting worse and worse and, uh, you know, utilities and stuff getting shut off and, and trying to figure out, trying to scramble and hustle and, and try to get things to, uh, together to, you know, to just to get the house going again. Uh, I, I got, you know, I, I, like I said before, you know, I, I sat down to myself and I was really looking at trucking videos and, and stuff like that. I, I just went down that YouTube rabbit hole and, and found uh, uh, your boy E, the trucker, who I wish he was still trucking. I wish he was still making videos, but, you know, uh, uh, shout outs, man. Uh, I, I know you probably don't watch my videos because I'm just a little old nothing YouTuber, but you're one of the guys that really inspired me to uh, to to start this journey, and um, I just want to say thanks uh, to everybody. A little guy, a sinister, um, Casanova. The, the the list could go on and on. Uh, Jay Canal, um, Trucker Josh, just just great people who really give a, a, a good, you know, a, a really give a good, uh, how do I want to say, display of what trucking is, you know, and um, so I went down that rabbit hole and thought I would try trucking out, and, you know, I, I really just asked myself, so do I really want to stay here suffering with my family, trying to figure out how we're going to pay next month's rent and, and pay pay the utility bills and things like that and hopefully 
you know, <clears throat> hold out for, for an IT job? Or do I sacrifice my family time and, and, and my, my hobbies and, and, and everything like that to ensure that things at home are taken care of? And, you know, I, I, it took me two seconds to answer my own question. You know, I was, uh, I, I, I didn't want to see my family go through that stress. My wife trying to figure out how to, you know, whether the landlord was going to give us notice and, and all that, and all that fun stuff. So, um, it's, it, it, again, it, it makes a person, it, it truly shows who they are. Yeah, I could have gone home. I could have applied for welfare. I could have applied for, you know, uh, all, all these government assisted programs, but that's just really not, that's just not who I am. Uh, when I get into a situation, I'm kind of, what kind of makes me unique is when I get into a situation that, that I know that needs to get done, I'll I'll do anything under my power to ensure that that gets done. Uh, it might, you know, the bad thing about me is I might let it get to that point where I'm forced to make that, uh, you know, to, to to bring out my strength to finish uh, that goal. So. Uh, you know, it, it's just truly amazing when you when you drive over the road and 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 you and you meet all these individuals and things like that who have families and kids and um, the people I talk to on YTTA and stuff like that who who you know we we all have kids we we have family and, and things like that and it's it's amazing the sacrifices that we make to ensure that things at home are taken care of and uh, it, it really makes me proud to to be a part of an industry like trucking that you know truckers aren't afraid to work you know what I mean I mean this might this might not be back back breaking ditch digging you know labor intensive work but you know truck drivers they uh, they work their butts off, man. I mean, it, it's uh, it when you're in this truck, when you leave that house, you're you know, like I said before, you're 24 hours whether you're sleeping or or, or waiting at that dock. You know, you're um, you're responsible for the equipment and, and the product that's inside that truck. So even when you're sleeping, you know, you're you're still somewhat. You, you got to pay attention to you know the that the reefer is still running and the, and the product is staying cool and stuff like that. And, um, you know, it's just, a it's a, it's an amazing industry that unfortunately doesn't get as much credit as it deserves. Um, that, that's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of the bad rap of, of, of this industry, but it, it is what it is as long as, you know, which I think the majority of truckers know in their hearts that this world, or you know, this this country would 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 not be would not be here without truckers. You know, um, I I can't imagine uh, what would happen if even just 24, 48 hours with, with no trucks moving, uh, things would be really <laughs> things would be really really bad. So, it's the sacrifices that we make in life that truly make who we are. So, if you're that person sacrificing that home time to be sure that your electric bills and, and rent and mortgage and stuff like that is paid, you have my utmost respect. Um, if you're a military member who's gone away from months at a time, away from their family, fighting for your country... You, you you've got my uh, you've got you've got mad respect. Uh, same thing, sales agents, uh, anyone who travels, man. Um, it's just it just goes to show who you are, and uh, not to say that you know I I I'm a better man because I I'm doing what 
<clears throat> what needs to be done at home, but uh, I, I acknowledge and I realize that at this point in time in my life and my situation, trucking has, uh, trucking has brought me out of that situation that I was in last year. You know, uh, here I am pretty much one year later. Uh, all my, my rent is completely caught up. Uh, you know, uh, I pray every day that I have uh, of the landlord that I do who is just simply amazing. Uh, he works with us. Uh, he was very patient, very understanding of our situation. Um, but I'll, basically everything's caught up now. Everything's paid. Um, and, and that's what trucking has, has pretty much done for me and my family. Um, because of the sacrifices that not only that I've made, but my family has made as well. You know, my my wife greatly misses me. My, wife, my son misses me. Um... So I'm not the only one making sacrifices out here, and and uh, for those that are out here, you know, don't forget to, you know, acknowledge that to your family, and and, and because they're sacrificing too, just as much as you are, you know, um, and, and it's important to acknowledge them and and realize that that they're appreciated. Uh, that that support level that you have at home keeps us going out here, you know. Um, that that's that's just that's just it. Anyway, um, you know, that's pretty much it. I I, I want to say about that. Just keep that in mind. I I, I really uh, for everyone who who makes that decision to come out here and be a truck driver. I commend you guys uh, full heartedly. It's a big commitment. It's a big. It's a very very stressful situation to go through, um, and it's a very lengthy process. You know, you got to got to go through that CDL school. You got to pass the test. You got to go through that mentor program, and you know that mentor phase is is one of the hardest parts at least in my opinion that you're going to go through as a trucker uh because it's this that's not that's not easy and uh you, you start you know it's one thing to be away from your from your your family and things like that but it, it's it makes it even worse when you know you're living in, in a, a, a very small truck with somebody that you hardly know trying to learn everything about the truck, trying to learn how to deal with the, the personalities that are inside the truck, let alone missing your family and all that thing, all that, all that fun stuff. So I just, again, new truck, new truck drivers, future truck drivers, uh, much respect because this, this, this takes a lot of commitment to do. And for you to jump into it shows a lot about who you are. It shows that you're tired of your current situation that you're in right now. You're tired of that minimum wage job or, or whatever, and um, you're ready to make a change. So uh, you have my utmost respect. Again, guys, thank you so much for all your views and videos. Uh, or uh, Videos. <laughs> thank you so much for all your views and subscriptions to my channel. It, it really means a lot. Uh, we're, we're slowly growing, but to me, it, it's I, I would be happy with five subscribers. I would be happy with five viewers uh, to see what my numbers are now with just the sh small little amount of videos that I've put out has really touched me, and uh, just want to say I really appreciate appreciate the support. Really, really uh, means a lot. So it's uh, raining here in Salt Lake City today, and I'm waiting on a load, and we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm not, sh not sure what's going to happen, but time will tell. That's how trucking goes. You just kind of wait. So that's it for today. I think maybe I'll may maybe pump out one more video here, and um, everyone please stay safe. 
treat the other person next to you like you want to be treated. Let's keep this world, you know, evolving as, as it should be, you know. Treat, treat everyone as you want to be treated. That's the problem that we have today, you know. Everyone's just, I shouldn't say everyone, uh, but a lot of people out here that are just selfish, you know. Uh, throw your trash away, man. Throw your trash away. Don't be lazy. Take showers. Keep keep good hygiene. Take care of yourself. Get your medical appointments. And, you know, take care of yourself. Take care of the person next to you. Take care of your truck. Take care of your equipment. Take care of the world that we live in. It's, it's really important. Not only for, for you and me, but it's important for, you know... The next generations that are coming up behind us it's you know it's that's really important so thanks so much guys hope you have a really really great day and stay safe out there if it's uh whether it's good or good or bad weather there stay safe man bye